everybody missing, he's leaving. It's business. Right, for sure. If it's good business, we're going to do what? Business. For sure. We're not leaving each other. It's just not on contract. All right, what's up, everyone? We have some crazy breaking news in the boxing world right now. Gervonta Tank Davis just dropped a bombshell on his fans and the boxing community by cutting ties with his longtime trainer, Calvin Ford. And guess what? Floyd Money Mayweather has finally spoken out about it. If you've been following Tank's career, you know this isn't some minor change. Calvin Ford has been like a father figure to him. But it seems like Tank's looking for a new path by bringing in Derek James to get him ready for the upcoming showdown against Lamont Roach. What really went down? How does Floyd feel about Tank's decision to part ways with Ford? And why did Tank think Derek James was the right move at this crucial time in his career? Let's dive into the action. Tank Davis and Calvin Ford go way back. We're talking about a relationship that's deeper than just a trainer and fighter. Calvin's been by Tank's side since he was just a kid, coming up in the rough streets of Baltimore. He's not only shaped Tank as a fighter, but played a major role in keeping him focused and away from the streets, helping him turn his raw talent into something truly special. So cutting ties with the guy all of a sudden doesn't really make much sense. Who do you want to see? You, as a guy that's in his trainer, that's like a father figure to him, you're training him all the time, you know him, both y'all from the streets of Baltimore the whole bit. Who do you want to see Tank fight next? I want him to get all of them that ran their mouth. There's more to this story than it's letting on. And thanks to Floyd, we know the real T now. So here's where it all started. Floyd Mayweather, despite his love-hate history with Tank, has been prepping for an exhibition fight, and he reached out to Calvin Ford to help him train. Floyd and Calvin go back a long way too, and Floyd wants someone he can trust in his corner. But Tank? He wasn't feeling it at all. According to Floyd, Tank saw this as Calvin crossing a line, a serious breach of loyalty. Now, I don't know about you guys, Tank shouldn't have just kicked Calvin out from his training camp for that reason. But hey, you gotta understand Tank's POV too. To Tank, Calvin wasn't just his trainer. He was supposed to be his guy, dedicated to making sure he was at his best, especially with the Roach fight coming up. Floyd claims Tank felt betrayed, thinking, why is my trainer putting energy into Floyd's fight when I'm about to go into one of the most important fights of my career? For Tank, this wasn't just Calvin helping out an old friend. It felt like Calvin was prioritizing someone else over him. Tank pop up. Said, man, y'all could at least told me. Yo, you don't need to be worried about shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Just call Floyd. And that was his way of yes. Not to mention, Ford took Tank's side when Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather were going back and forth taking shots at each other all over social media. So for Ford to switch sides out of the blue, it did not sit well with Tank. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, Tank is Tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we said what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself. You know, but again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said, this is the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know. Calm is the, I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know, but our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. And Floyd didn't sugarcoat it. He told reporters, Tank's got a lot of pride. And right now, he's looking for loyalty above everything else. Now, here's the part that's got everyone talking. Floyd isn't exactly backing Tank on this one. While he understands Tank's feelings, he's also pointing out that Calvan has every right to work with other fighters, especially for an exhibition. Mayweather said, Tank's young, he's passionate, and he feels he's owed a lot of loyalty, but Calvin's also got his own career to think about. The world doesn't run on Tank's fingerprints, so he's got to stop acting like it does. You know how it goes when it comes to those two. Floyd and Tank do not see each other eye to eye, and with everything going on lately, it's best if those two don't cross each other's paths, otherwise we're in for a brawl.
people are saying that this was just one of Floyd's mind games. And it could be it. Floyd wasn't too happy when he heard Tank was out here securing deals way bigger than he ever did. He's not gonna let Tank outshine him in this industry. Now let's get back to the Calvin Ford drama. So how did Tank respond to all this? Well, the split was about as sudden as it was cold. Tank didn't just make a quiet switch. He cut Calvin off entirely and started working with Derek James almost immediately. Yep, Derek James. Sources close to Tank have been saying he was feeling disrespected, like Calvin was turning his back on the loyalty they'd built over years. And Tank's a guy who's known for making moves when he feels disrespected. That was his way of just making Tank talk to him. That was a mentor of lessons right there to get him to talk to him. Now, with Derek James on board, Tank's career is set to take a new direction. Derek isn't just any trainer. He's a top-tier strategist who's built a reputation for creating aggressive, highly conditioned fighters like Errol Spence Jr. and Jermel Charlo. Tank's hoping that Derek can bring something new to the table, especially against a tactical fighter like Lamont Roach. So, where do Tank and Calvin go from here? For Floyd, this isn't about bad blood, but about letting Tank learn what loyalty and business mean in boxing. Floyd's comments seem aimed at getting Tank to think long-term, hinting that Tank might look back and realize he acted out of emotion rather than strategy. And what about Calvin? The guy has been silent, but insiders are saying he's disappointed. Calvin has invested so much into Tank, and seeing their relationship fall apart over an exhibition fight with Floyd wasn't what he expected. Wait to sit down and talk to him one-on-one. -on -one saying what his mental way. Whatever he want to do, I just prepare him for it. Mentally, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this split marks a major turning point in Tank's career, and it raises one very important question. Can Derek James really fill Calvin's shoes? Only time will tell, because at the end of the day, Ford was like family to him. Tank was the first one in the gym, the last one out the gym. Tank used to sit on the ring like this and watch me train him. How man. old is he at this point? He was like seven, eight. Okay. A lot of stuff that I was giving my son, my son was giving it to Tank, so it was a perfect fit. The tank was like the fan. Tank can find success with Derek and go on to beat Roach. It'll prove he can handle the pressure and keep evolving. But if he struggles, there are going to be a lot of people pointing back to this decision, saying it was Tank's pride and lack of loyalty that ultimately cost him. Some think Calvin might still be open to mending things down the line, but for now, it's clear he's moving forward with Floyd and whatever other opportunities come his way. I'm in the corner at the sixth round and say, my hand is hurting. And if you look at the tape, I said, man, I don't want to hear that. Fight through it. And he done it. Y'all got to get this young man his props. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.